All right. So in this video, like we'll go through like uh, our understanding of WebDriver API, right? So in this video, we're going to understand WebDriver API. So in order to understand that, let me try to take the help of this uh, login test itself. So let me try to create a copy of this login test tool. Okay. And let me open this. And let me close this login test, right? And let me maximize this one. All right, so and all right, so what you can do is like uh, these steps. So the below steps that you see, these are the common steps, right? No matter which browser you are executing these steps, so it will be common. So we have to do one thing. So let me. So you have to do one thing. What happens in the real time is like. Um, the execution might be ex done the execution might be done in different browsers it can be done in like chrome browsers it can be done in firefox browser it can be done in opera browser right so you have to design your script in such a way that uh, it is able to handle with minimal code changes so that should be the uh that should be the idea so that should be taken into consideration while you are designing the script. So what you can do is like, let me try to create a new global variable and call it as public static string browser is equal to Chrome, right? And what we'll do is like right now, the previous script, we have written the code only for Chrome browser. Only, we have to retain the code for only for Chrome browser, right? But uh, in the real time, it can be executed in multiple browsers like Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Internet Explorer browser, Opera browser, Safari browser. So any browser it can be executed. So what you can do is like you, you have to create a separate block for each of the execution, right? So let me try to create separate block for them, right? So I write some code here like uh, if browser dot equals in browser dot equals no case chrome if it is chrome then what you can do is run this step right and if we need to run the steps Oops. So if we have to run these steps in Firefox, then this is the block. So we have to do some minor change over here, right? Instead of Chrome driver, let me keep it as Firefox driver. And this should be Firefox driver, right? And even this portion, it can be common, not required to keep it inside the fields block. And this is common, right? So this is for Firefox. So let me keep uh, the example simple, right? So that it will be easy for you guys to understand. So currently we have only two browsers, but uh, in the real time, we'll be having three to four browsers. Uh, based on uh, the project requirements, so we'll be having all the different browsers in this else block, right? And whatever the browser that we are defining here, so this will be actually coming from some of the configuration file, right? Some of the configuration file, like it can come from like CSV, it can come from Excel, or it can come from properties file. So we have to take care of this. So industry standard is like, uh, it normally comes from any of these files. So you can just define uh, the variables, properties there, and you can read it and uh, pass in the value. So in case so you are using CSV, you have to create a, a utility for uh, reading the CSV file and getting that browser value at the runtime. Similar is the case for Excel if you're working with Excel. So we'll be picking the data from Excel or the properties file at the runtime and we'll be passing it. 
let's say the requirement uh, changes tomorrow. Let's say your manager says like tomorrow you have to perform the execution on Internet Explorer browser instead of Chrome browser, right? Or Firefox browser. So you can just change this to Firefox browser. And in that case, this else if block will be executed, right? So like this, the execution will be happening. But why I'm getting this error? So, all right, so I'll fix this error later on, but before I explain some of the important concepts here, like webdriver manager dot chrome driver dot setup. This line of code is good, no problem with that. But when we come to this chrome driver, and uh, let me remove this for now. Let me remove the driver for now. And let me keep this Firefox driver itself over here. All right. <clears throat> Just to explain you the concept for web driver, why there is need for writing web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Instead of uh, writing as Chrome driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver, right? So what we can do is like, uh, here if you see like the chrome driver is a class okay and uh, we know that like uh, already we have seen in the java tutorials like we can create the object of the class so over here we are creating the object for chrome driver class and driver is the reference variable which is holding this object right so we are passing the the same variable so we are defining this driver variable over here right but this driver variable is a local variable, right? So this is uh, the concept here. So driver variable is a local variable whose existence and the scope is inside this block itself. It is not outside the block. So if you try to access this driver variable outside this block, then you won't be able to access it, okay? So similarly over here, in this uh, Firefox block, right? So this driver, which is uh, holding this object of uh, Firefox driver, right? The scope of this uh, driver object reference is inside this if else else block itself, not outside the else block. So it will be created, initialized here itself, and it will be destroyed itself. It will be destroyed inside this block itself. Right. It is not going outside of this block. If you're trying to access this driver outside the block, then you'll be getting null pointer exception at that moment of time, right? Since uh, this is getting initialized and destroyed over here. And if you're trying to access it from the top by defining any global variable, that time it is going to throw null pointer exception. So what we can do here is let us create a new variable as public style. And the uh, phone driver, driver, right? So when we create the object uh, for Chrome driver here, right? And uh, we define a global variable at the top, outside the main method, right? We are defining the global variable for Chrome driver class. So this is a global variable. And when we define this variable, then all the compile time errors that it was showing up previously has gone. Okay, there is no more compile time error, right? So all the compile time errors are gone now. And the problem that uh, here, the problem that will be coming up over here is like, uh, Let's say right now we are running the execution for Chrome browser, right? We have defined the value as Chrome. The property file has been initiated with uh, the value as Chrome right? and it is going to this block and it checks for this Chrome value. If it is matching, then it will run this block. And driver Chrome driver dot setup and then it will be running uh, this Chrome browser over here and when it comes to this block what will happen is like it, the condition will be false right if browser dot equals or if a browser dot equals ignore case firefox so this is false statement right now our value is chrome right so 
it will be passing only in this scenario. It will be not passing in this scenario, never. Because right now we have the variable as Chrome. So it will be never coming to this block unless it is set to Firefox, right? So what happens is like, uh, let's say tomorrow our requirement got changed. We have to run the execution for Firefox browser. So that time we have to define one more variable here, right? Public static so that we can pass in the value, right? Firefox driver and driver. Since we have all these upcoming steps, the below steps are there as the reference variable is driver. So we have to define the driver value for the variable itself. We cannot change the driver variable. And then this is in our problem, right? We cannot define two variables value at the same. See, we are getting duplicate uh, field here, duplicate value. So only one class will have this driver reference variable defined. If we define it uh, using a different, if we define it like this, it will be throwing compile time error all the time. So we have to fix it. So we whether so either we have to define it to, for Chrome driver with this reference variable or Firefox driver with this reference variable. Either of these two we have to define. If you are not defining, if you are defining with one of the class variable, then it, this is fine. But if you define it for one of the class variable, then that time it is going to fail because our requirement is to handle both the classes, right? If the data is coming for Chrome, then we'll be passing the first one. The data is for Firefox, we'll be passing it as the Firefox that will be coming from the property file or the CSV or Excel file, right? So how to handle this? This is not uh, another problem that we encountered here, right? So both are class only, so they are at the same level. So we need some of the, we need something which is like super to the class, right? And we know that all these classes, Chrome driver classes and Firefox classes are implementing web driver interface. And if we write a web driver over here, and if we comment this second one, and before doing this, let me try to do one thing. Let me try to run this, okay? Let me comment this one, and let me try to run login to. All right, so right click and say run a Java application. And let us see what happens. What is the problem that we are getting? So it has launched the, the Chrome browser, but it has not launched the google.com, right? And it has thrown null pointer exception. So let me show you. So it has thrown the null pointer exception at this line Java 28. Let me try to see like why it is throwing null pointer at line number 28. What is the reason here? So any guess, what is the reason here? Any guess, if you're watching the video carefully, then you might have the answer for this, why it is throwing null pointer at this line. So actually what is happening is like, uh, currently we have defined the browser value let me zoom out a bit. So currently the browser is set to Chrome, right? So when the execution is happening here, so it is coming from the top. So the first block it is matching. And it is initializing this Chrome driver with this driver variable. But we already know in the previous uh, discussion, right? This driver is having a scope only up to this, only inside this two curly braces not outside these two curly braces. Outside these curly braces, its existence is null. No existence is there, right? So, and uh, we have defined this Chrome driver, which is a global variable, right? You can see this is a global variable and this Chrome driver reference. And if you just try to select this and press control on this and press enter, you'll see like it will take you to the 
variable that is defined at the global level. Do you see? It is highlighting, right? So that means the driver which is defined at line number 27 is this, right? Not this. Because this driver reference which is defined at line number 19 has this scope only inside this block, not outside this block. But the line number 13 driver reference has this scope starting from here, right? If you just just like this, it will point to this. So how can we handle this? So we need a, some super most thing, right? And we know that the Chrome driver and all the other drivers like Firefox driver, Safari driver, Opera driver, all these classes are implementing web driver interface. So let us try to do one thing. Let me try to change the value as Firefox and run this time and see how it is behaving. It run as no application. So it has launched the Firefox browser. It is taking a while. Or has it completed? It has already thrown the error. All right, so again, it has thrown the error at line number 27. So let's try to analyze what is happening at this point of code, right? So line number 29 is driver.finance.window.maximize, right? And we have set the browser as Firefox. So what happens is like, when it, the execution comes inside this uh, main method, so this is going to the first block, it checks for like, uh, what is the browser here? So this condition gets followed because right now we have the browser value as Firefox. So this is blank. This is not at all satisfying the condition. So it is coming to the next condition, which is like ALC block, right? And uh, it is uh, coming over here, Firefox browser, set up the executable environment and all, right? And then it launches the Firefox driver. Up till here, it is running fine. So it is launching the Firefox driver. But the when the execution is coming inside this curly braces, right? On line number 27, what happens is like, it is getting null pointer exception at this line of code, right? Since this code is pointing to global variable. And the global variable is never initialized. So how we can initialize this? So you can say like, let's remove this from driver, right? And let's try to run it. Let's try to run it once. But we encountered another error over here, right? So it is saying like, so for Chrome driver, it is not showing an error. But for Firefox driver, it is showing error because we have defined this Chrome driver. And also in the local variable, we have defined it. So it is working fine now. So we are initializing inside this if block. So this one is running fine. But this driver is never initialized, right? This driver is never defined, right? You can say like cannot convert from Firefox driver to Chrome driver. So whatever the driver that we are getting from the global variable, this one, is not able to this one is not able to hold the global variable i mean the local variable driver is not able to hold the global variable right so that is the problem here so we are getting another problem if i uncomment this one and see what is happening this is creating another problem duplicate variable because we cannot uh, define the duplicate variable in java that is not supported so let's comment this we can't work with this approach defining two duplicate variables. So what is the solution for this, right? So it is saying cannot convert from Firefox driver to Chrome driver. Since we have this Chrome, since we have this uh, global variable defined as Chrome driver. So what we can do is we have to have some super most thing, which is like super to both of these. 
class right chrome driver as well and also firefox driver as well so that whatever the initialization that we do that will hold good for both the classes uh, driver initialization right so what is the super classes or the super interface that is implemented so super interface is web driver interface right i'll show you the documentation if i show you the documentation right so this is the selenium api doc this is the selenium api doc and if i take you to the web driver right so for anything uh, and everything you should come to this uh, selenium api documentation this contains all the information like what are uh, classes or what all interfaces we have here or whatever methods that we have inside the selenium so or that is defined here so one thing you have to think so one thing we have to make a note it's like uh, what were the interfaces that we have right so that will be in italics and uh, all the non interfaces like classes will be in the you can say in the normal font right but uh, if there is interface in this selenium api documentation so that will be in it italics so that is something to learn so let me close so let me click on this web driver interface so this is an interface and uh, we have already understood and gone through the interface concepts in the java tutorial if you have not gone then you can go to the java tutorials section right there is a dedicated uh, playlist for java and uh, so this is having such context at the super interfaces so this is a uh, web driver is a extending search context right so that's gone text with the super interface for all the interfaces like a web driver interface right and if i scroll down a bit you'll see like all the methods that are being defined inside the web driver interface so we have this close method that is defined inside this web driver interface then we have find element already we have worked with this find element in the previous uh, sessions right uh, for performing the send keys operation and the click operation and this is the this is the find elements right which will be finding uh, multiple elements right so first one is for single element the next one is for finding the multiple elements it will be returning list of the web elements wherein like there will be multiple web elements will be present so get get is a method which is actually used for launching the browser right get current url will be getting the current url get page source will be getting the page source of the html right and get title will be getting the current title get window handles so like this all the various uh, methods are present so you just have to come to this page to understand in details like they have very nice documentation they have provided and you can just go through to understand in details like uh, what it does like get title find elements find element get page source close create already we have seen close example in the multiple scenarios right get window handles then we have get window handles switch to navigate manage all these uh, various methods that are present here so shown here so so this is the supermost uh, interface right and which all class is implementing this uh, interface right so already we know like interface is having the abstract methods present this is not having the actual implementation in this has uh, just these simple you can see the blank methods that are being defined there only the signature is being defined but the actual implementation is defined inside the classes which is implementing this web driver interface so let's go to chrome driver class right let me scroll a bit and try to find out chrome driver class over here or else let me uh, or else let me find it from here chrome driver all right so i'm not getting it so let me go to the package instead It come down it should be somewhere to check in this package
All right, so like uh, this is the class of Chrome driver, right? So this is implementing uh, various interfaces. So these are the list of various in interfaces that it is implementing, right? So this is implementing the web driver interface as well, right? So if a class is implementing web driver interface, so in that scenario, what we can do is we can write something like this. Let's say the class name is Chrome driver. Chrome driver is a class name. So we can create an object for this class as well. The driver is going to be a Chrome driver. Put a semicolon. So this is how we can create the object for a class in Java, right? But if a class is implementing an interface, let's say interface name is web driver. So this is an interface. So we already know like interface as no as no. You can say the concrete methods. Or the full implementation is not present. Complete implementation is present. Right? So, in that side, what we can do is like uh, this is the action class form driver. It's going to implement it. Yeah. It is going to implement web driver interface. And if it is implementing, then Chrome driver is supposed to provide the complete implementation, right? Full implementation has to provide. Otherwise, we'll be getting compile time error inside the Chrome driver class. And once the implementation has been provided, so we can write some statement like this as well. instead of writing this full object creation we can write it as a driver driver is equal to new chrome driver right since chrome driver is implementing this web driver interface so web driver interface reference which is driver it can hold this chrome driver object since chrome driver is a class now so the parent can hold the class object so that is the concept so we have seen here like uh, chrome driver is actually implementing web driver interface so we're using this concept of java only we can write this and if i take you to eclipse over here instead of writing this chrome driver i'll write it as web driver and what will happen over here is all the errors will be gone right and let me quickly test this so currently it is pointing to firefox browser let me quickly run it and a java application let me and let me see if it is going beyond line number 27 which is like browser maximizing window yes it has done so successfully it has worked for firefox browser and let me quickly test for chrome browser as well so for Chrome browser as well, it will work fine since we have fixed everything. All right, so it has worked for Chrome browser as well. So this is how we have uh, resolved the issue with the web driver reference, and we have seen the importance of web driver, right? And uh, this web driver is actually the interface which is being implemented by the multiple classes. Not only Chrome driver classes, it is being implemented by uh, Chrome driver uh, as well as Firefox driver, Opera driver, Safari driver, Edge driver, Internet Explorer driver. So all these drivers are implementing interface web driver, right? And they are providing their own implementation. Why this is required? Why need to? Why we need to have uh, these many uh, drivers? Because in the current market, these are the leading. You can see the various browsers are present and uh, they have to written their internal code separate right separately they have written it they have done the implementation in their own way 
they are just providing us option to create the object, right? And where the actual code has been written, the actual code has been written inside this constructor. You can see you are getting this C over here, right? So this is the constructor. So inside the constructor, they have written the actual implementation. So whenever we are writing a web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So what happens is like uh, this constructor is getting invoked. And once this, this constructor is getting invoked, whatever the actual implementation that has been written, right? So that is getting invoked and it launches the Chrome driver or any other web driver or, or any other project which is uh, passed as the execution, right? So you can see like uh, Chrome driver service Chrome option. So it performs the Chrome launching process, right? Creates a new Chrome driver instance with the specified option. So this is providing additional capabilities in which like we are passing additional capabilities uh, as a parameter and uh, that will be taken care of at the time of execution, right? So in this video, we have understood the concept of uh, like the web driver and uh, this is how we are putting a uh, or handling various browsers requirement right so in this requirement uh, it's uh, some change has to happen anytime uh, anytime from the development team or from the requirement team we are getting the, the requirement that we have to run the execution in firefox itself then in that time we just have to set this property value inside the properties file or any of these configuration files right and uh, from a single point we can control the execution we do not have to write uh, multiple lines of code because if we maintain uh, the separate lines of code for chrome driver or firefox driver or any other driver then that will be like uh, let's say we have 50 uh, we have like uh, 30,000 line of code in the script and uh, we have to manage it for four thousand, then that becomes like one like twenty thousand lines of code, right? So that is a huge number of uh, lines to be maintained. So this is how we can simplify the process, and all these are you know, the steps that are coming as part of the optimization. We'll see later on in the upcoming videos like how we can uh, do all sorts of like uh, optimization when we're learning uh, all the advanced concepts, right? So we have to be always ready. Uh, so that uh, whenever something comes up, we have to be like a uh, list uh, code changing part, right? We have to be on the list of change, code changing part so that uh, it is not impacting much there. So whatever is coming to our side, it will be handled with minimal effort. That should be the uh, case, right? So that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. And if you got the understanding of the whole concept then hit the like button subscribe it and share with other people so that uh, they also get the knowledge of these deeper concepts right so in this video i went like uh, beyond uh, some length all right so thanks for watching see you in the next one